So, it's me, your little boy, Ike Samson. You know, this is something that you as a chosen, you need to hold and you need to understand. <laughs> no one can destroy you because no one up there know how come water enter into coconut. This is why your life as a chosen is so mystery. It's deeper than the ancient. You got what I'm saying? This is why everything about you is so deep that people cannot conclude you to no matter what they can conclude you. Yes, they, they can they can judge you, they can hate you, they can talk bad about you, they can gossip you, but they can't conclude you, they can't destroy you because no one accurately have idea on how to destroy what they are not aware how it is being made because the truth is that it is what you know you can keep <laughs> it is what you know you can exactly and you know accurately be able to destroy no key this is why people are always going to hate you this is the reason why they can never be happy with you because they don't know how come how god made you how God satisfied you, how God satisfied your life. So that is why you need to understand, no matter the circumstances you found yourself as a chosen, no matter the trials around you, surely they were tried, but they can't prevail. Surely they will gather, but they can't prevail. Surely they will gang up, but they can't prevail. For the weapons of our weapons are not carnal, but my true God, you know, pulling down the strongholds, casting down imagination, bringing into captivities every tongue to the obedience of Christ. So what is that thing that makes you feel so sad sometimes? What is that situation or condition that makes you feel like that is the end of everything for you? That make you feel like there is no hope up there. I'm here to give you adequate word, adequate declaration. I'm here to let you know that there is a hope for you, bro. That it does not matter who rises up against you. It does not matter who is telling you, let's see how you will be able to survive our plot. Or who is telling you, you can't be able to do nothing. That they will do you this, they will do you that. The truth is that they are telling you all those things because they are scared. They are telling you all those things because they want to figure out how you are being made. They are telling you all those things because they want to know whom you absolutely are as a choosing. Because the main truth is that they don't know whom you are. These people have no idea the kind of person you are. They have no idea the kind of preservation the kind of uniqueness, the kind of authenticity, the kind of light you carry. Because some people will try to dim your light. Some people may try to stop you from shining. But the main truth is that they can't. They can't because no matter how bad, <laughs> you know, uh, light may look like, no matter how bad light may look like, it is still light. And whenever a light appears, no matter how small it is, it will shine. Darkness cannot what? withhold it. So that is why you, as a choosing, you need to understand that many people around you, whether they carry the highest demons, whether they are being controlled by the highest, you know, demonics, or whether they are being operated by the highest, uh, uh, you know, uh, demonic powers. The truth is that they can't be able to destroy that which they have no idea how it is being made because god who have made you the bible said before you were born he formed you he called you he chose you that means even in the presence of their evil even in the presence of their evil enchantment so they can't bring you down because god who called you have automatically what you know equipped you god who called you have automatically made you what undestroyable you know, <laughs> on table, on table. You got know what I'm saying? So that is why you need to understand that God have made you so special that even if the enemy may try to rise up against you, they can't get you, they can't destroy you, they can't frustrate you because God have called you out of Lord darkness into His marvelous light, and whoever God have chosen, no one can stand against. 
whoever God has made a declaration upon, no man out there can stand against the will of God. Why? Because he chose you, he formed you, and even before you come into existence, God has automatically made you totally different among them. You know what I'm saying? So God has automatically made you totally different among them. And that is why if you, no matter how brilliant you may look like, no matter how creative you may look like or you may be, no matter how smart, intelligent you are, you cannot dictate how water enters into coconut. You know what I'm saying? Yes, scientists can tell you corn will grow within a week. Onions will be able to grow within like four to five, what? Five to five, let me say one week, seven days. Later seven days, it germinates. There are some crops who they will tell you it will germinate this and it will germinate at that particular time. But they can't tell you how water enters into coconut. That is why your life as a choosing, it does not matter how they are gathered, it does not matter what they call themselves, they will end up in shame. <laughs> because they can't get room, they have no idea how it is being protected. Because so God has called you out of darkness into a place of what of uniqueness. And that is why some people will, will always end up in shame. It does not matter whether they come like a flood. The Bible says he will do it. He will drop them like a what? He, he will put an asunder to their, what, to their evil expectation. You know what I'm saying? So meaning that it does not matter who rises up against you. It does not matter who said they are going to destroy you. It does not matter who's, who are proud because of maybe they have done evil or who is pretending to love you. The truth is that whether you know, you don't know, God is aware. Whether you are aware or you are not aware, God is aware. I can remember when I was in a dream. You know, God showed me some of my friends who were ganging up against me. <laughs> and yet they still do, they still come around me and smile with me. In years back, in the last two years, God exposed many. This person was eating with me. We do all kinds of things together, you know, do all kinds of stuff together, but yet they are still what, ganging up against me. And when the Lord exposed them to me, they were shocked. How come I figure out what they were plan, plotting to do, what, to do? What they were planning to do? Why, why am I saying this? Because when God called you, when God anointed you, they can't do what, stop you. You know what I'm saying? They can't stop whom God have automatically what, anointed to do what great in life. They can't. So you got what I'm saying? So may the Lord bless you and remain what blessed.